Hi, this is Linda Welsh from Linda Welsh Realty Group. Thank you for joining me today. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about some common buyer objections. And if you're a realtor, then you might want to know what to say. If you happen to be a buyer checking in, then, um, then tune in because this is what we hear a lot of times uh, from buyer objections and it, it might appeal to you to understand um, that you're not alone. And if you're a seller, then this is often what we hear as well. So number one objection that we often hear in this market is from a buyer is, I'm just gonna wait for interest rates to drop. Well, actually interest rates are pretty normal now. We had a crazy, crazy market when they were priced at 3% um, for people with really good credit. That's not likely to happen again anytime soon. Um, in fact, I've been in this business for over 25 years and I have never seen that before and I'm not going to hold my breath waiting for it to happen again. Um, this interest rate between 6 and 7%, in fact, historically, is a, is a very average and very common interest rate. And there are also ways that um, we can ask for some concessions at, if you're a buyer in order to make that happen. A lot of times we're able to negotiate on the behalf of buyers to have sellers pay a buy-down rate that will help them um, in the short term for their interest rate and their payments. And this is pretty common in this market. Um, so number two is somebody who says, I'll just rent for now. Well, on the surface that might sound good, but here's the thing, is if you are paying rent, you're paying for your landlord's mortgage, if he has one, and you're not getting any positive appreciation or credit for that. So uh, it's, it's probably much more advantageous for you to consider this investment. You're able to write off your interest in your property taxes on your um, income tax. And in the state of Texas, you also get some other exemptions. You get homestead exemptions. If you're a senior, if you're going to uh, turn 65 in a particular year, or one of you is, then you actually can file for your senior homestead and get a, a, an ex additional exemption. There are other exemptions out there for disabilities and also for um, agricultural or wildlife exemptions, and we can help educate you on that as well. Uh, number three, home prices are becoming too expensive. Well, you know, home prices have been going up for many, many years. That's probably not going to change over time. Now we have seen a slowing, and in fact, we have seen a bit of a correction this past year maybe as much as 11% in our area. And so now is a particularly good time to jump in at a normal interest rate, which you might be able to get a buy down on, and also in prices that have, have been a little bit more competitive for buyers. So I would encourage you to talk to your trusted realtor and find out what's available out there. So now might be the perfect time to jump back in the market. Thanks so much. This is Linda Welsh from Linda Welsh Realty Group. Happy to help anytime you need us. Thank you.